All right, so we're back indoors, and a lot of you have been asking me, DV, how do I beat figure at room 100? And some of you are just even having problems reaching room 100. And today, this video is all about how to help you with that and how to beat him easily. Figure is actually really, really, really easy to beat. But today, we're going to be showing you how to beat figure very easily. Also, how to reach door 100 very easily. Throughout this video, I'll also be giving you just some general tips. So if you're new to doors, haven't been able to beat it yet, especially in solo runs, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's Let's get started. All right, so if you have knobs, this is the pre-run shop. If you have knobs, buy a flashlight. If you can only buy one thing, buy a flashlight. You really need that. Also, make sure you turn up your sound quality settings. You can reduce it if you want a little brighter. So see how it's kind of shadowy. You can reduce it a bit and it'll be like this. See how bright that is. But with my quality settings up, you can see how it got a lot darker, right? So let's show you this again in here. So you can see how dark it is in here. And if I reduce my quality, pink, look how bright it is now. In our case, we're just going to leave it as the beautiful mode. So I am going to be looking for a lot of coins throughout here. So I'm going to be looting a lot. But what I'm going to be doing is telling you some tips on how to be each particular monster, like how to handle, for example, halts. So if you've been struggling with halts, a lot of you have been. I've been getting a lot of pings on my Discord from people struggling with him. And he's actually really, really easy. Halt is probably one of the easiest monsters in the game besides, I would say, Screech and I would say Seek. But halt is actually very, 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 very easy. I'm assuming you know some basics of doors, at least. At least you've, you know, played it a bit. If you've never played it before, this is not like a full-on tutorial on how to play the game. I'll give you some tips. I'm going to assume you know how to play, though. Like, I'm not going to explain, like, how Rush works, for example. So, if you didn't have any knobs and didn't buy any flashlight, you know, what I would say is save up for room 52, which is where the shop is. Save up some coins, um, loot lots. You're not a race, unless you're trying to speed run. In which case, if you're a speed runner, then you're not watching my video. If you have, like, you know, 600, you're in pretty good shape. Oh, flashy, flashy. Mr. Rush is coming. Also, a lot of you are having struggles with dupe, which as soon as we get a room with dupe, I'll give you an example of how I like to handle a dupe. I don't think this is a dupe room. Let me see. Yeah, okay, so it is a dupe room. See how the number is scratched out here? That basically means it doesn't want me to know which room I was on. So like the obvious is if you have a situation like dupe where you have multiple doors, but different numbers, how do you pick which one is the right door to go in next? Because if you pick the wrong one, then you're gonna face dupe and he's gonna hurt you. So one way to do it is you can look at the key. So once you find the key look at the key number which is right here right so it says 18 so that is the sure proof way to do it if the door is locked however if the door is not locked then you can't use a key number to figure out what the next door is so what you do is you walk up to the door and you listen for growling so if you walk up to here you're gonna hear growling you can hear that It kind of sounds like a lion sleeping or a dragon sleeping. It's just kind of this grumble and that's pretty much dupe. So if the door is unlocked and you don't know which number you're on, just go up to that and you're good. And of course, if you have a crucifix and you really want to waste it on him, you could do that too. Oh, look down. Um, if you see, if you hear him, don't look at him. He's going to damage you. Just look down and then open the next door and he goes away. If you're really struggling in the game, by the way, with dark areas, just wait for the guiding light. You can pretty much hang out in the, the zone for a while. And there's no real time limit on it. So just hang out in the zone for a bit. And then guiding light will appear, which is this blue light. Especially helpful against figure, by the way. The other thing I highly recommend doing is remember which room you're entering. So look at the door number. Remember it. You know, repeat it in your head. So 28, for example. Next is going to be 29. That's going to save you a ton of time with dupe. All right, we got Seek. So if you've been struggling with Seek, he's really, really easy. You know, take your time through here. Crouch. Navigate a bit. Crouch. You know, go straight. Look left. The way I like to do this is um, I like to, in that particular room, I like to look left before I go. I always head towards the right, but I look left first. And we're good. I'll explain that a little bit more on the longer one. That's the shorter one. There's typically um, two seek sequences in each run. All right, so entering figure. This is room 50. I'm going to give you my way that I do it real easy. So first thing I do, I crouch. So I enter, crouch. We're going to hook left. Oh, you can hear the, the ringing right here heavily. So just grab that real quick. So pretty much you're collecting books inside this map and you're just kind of listening around for a, like high ringing, like high, high pitch ringing. 
And what you want to do is come over to this desk, pick up the paper. This is the code sheet. All right, so you can see he's coming this way. I'm going to go ahead this way. Then what I like to do is I like to head back towards the entrance area because it's pretty safe here. I'll let him pass by. His movement's kind of random, but it's not entirely random. It's pretty consistent. Oh, here's another one right here. So I'm listening for like high pitch ringing. I pretty much move throughout these. Oh, I hear another one. Oh, there it is. Now this area is blocked, so I'm pretty safe here. Listening to more ringing. Okay, I don't hear anything, so I'm gonna head up. And just keep an eye on where he's at. There we go, there's another one here, there's one here. I hear a ton of ringing around here. There we go, no more ringing. Let's head back over here. Let's grab the other books before he comes up. So there's none over here. I don't hear any up here. So I think I missed some downstairs because I don't have all of them. Well, let's go and check to see if we have enough. So we're gonna go and select the page. We have six, so we have square, which is six. We're missing one of them. And then there's star, X, circle. So we're missing two of them. So we're gonna go down. Let's just see where he's at. There he is, he's on the other side. So we're gonna come back down. Oh, there's one right here. Let's see if we have enough though. Let's see, what, what do we get? We got the first one. Okay, you know, we could guess the last one. The last one's just circle. So we got six for square, right? 6262, six, two, and then who knows what else. So we're gonna come over here in this corner and we're gonna guess the rest. So it's gonna be 6262, six, two, and then it could be zero. 6262, six, two, one maybe. Okay, it's not that. Two. Okay, it's not that. So this is how you do it. If you're just missing the last one, or just the first one even, and just go through the whole sequence. Unless you feel like finding the missing book. He's not gonna get you while you're doing this. There's seven, okay, so there's seven. All right, so we're safe here. Let's go in, we're gonna go buy our stuff. Finally, we can get some gear. El Goblino, oi! So we got our crucifix, our flashlight, our skeleton key, and we get this. Now, if you don't have the please donate badge, make sure you tip because you can get the please donate badge. And what that does is it gives you the item inside please donate, which is a doors booth. Oh, by the way, oh, thanks Screech, that freaked me out. Room 60 has a secret room. If you wanna learn more about that, watch my video about how to get to that secret room. I will link it in the description, but it's pretty much behind here on room 60. There it is. All right, skeleton room. This just gives you this nice plant that helps you heal fast. All right, let's go. If you're struggling with C, cause he's really, really easy. You're gonna go into a room that's basically a circular room, like a circular path, but there's three doors. There's a left door, a right door, and a, um, a front door. And what you wanna do is I like to strafe or run this way toward the right door while looking at the left. And if the left is blue, then I know I need to go through the left instead of the right. If the left is not blue, it's, you know, good chance is either gonna be the right door or it's gonna be the front door. So I'll show you right now. All right, left door it is. And right door. It's gonna be straight. Checking left, nope, it's gonna be right door. Checking left, nope, it's gonna be straight. And we go left on this one. Go to the right, back to the left, and straight. That one never changes, that's not RNG. That's always the same. Ooh, halt. Okay, so halt, if you've never done a halt, just keep walking, and when he tells you to turn around, just back up. Or you could turn around. See right there, it said turn around, so I'm just gonna back up, slowly. It's just a hallway, so now when he tells me to turn around, I go straight again. It's always gonna be a hallway, so just turn around, or just go backwards. Now go straight. He's really easy, so don't panic, just go back. Now go straight. Now go back. Now go straight. Now go back. Now go straight. And we're through. Easy. Yeah, he's a really, really easy one. Oh yeah, oh, let's make sure. Okay, thanks Screech. Um, it is a dupe room, but it is a key based room, so we're good. Let's go unlock it. Ooh, fun. We're getting really close to the um, greenhouse. The greenhouse is not too bad. It's just mostly rush and eyes. Ooh, it got glitched, wow. So next room is gonna be uh, greenhouse. 
This is where many fall. So most people die around here that I've noticed. Like anytime I do like group runs, they tend to die here a lot. So what you want to do is find a locker immediately. So beeline it to a locker, stand in front of it, listen for rush, and then we're going to go. So let's, I'll, sh I'll show you right now. Um, eyes is also common. So be careful with eyes. See, there's eyes right now. So just look down. We're going to head straight across. Open the door so he goes away. Now we got to listen for rush. He's not guaranteed, but super common. All right, next one. So avoid these. Oh, hide. All right, gonna beeline it to the next one. We're gonna open this one. Locker. There he comes. Super common. Got the next one. Two more rooms. Oh, here it comes. Dude, that was close. That was super close. All right, 100. And we still have a crucifix. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to explain figure real quick before we actually work on him. There's these gates, right? These gates are going to open as soon as we activate him or at least um, start the encounter. What you're going to do is you're going to come through here. You can hear the high pitch ringing beforehand. You hear that high pitch ringing. Those are your targets. It's kind of like finding the books. So this is very similar to finding books, but instead you're finding um, essentially like fuse box switches. And they're all scattered throughout this area, just like the bookshelves. Okay, so it's basically the same as like 50. Um, the only difference is after you um, have all the fuses, instead of a passcode unlock, you're going to go over to this room here and you're going to unlock this door with the key and then you're going to do the fuse box mini game. Now, one huge tip. Huge, huge, huge tip, especially if this is your first time on 100. Spend some extra time in this room. And what's going to happen is um, guiding lights going to activate in this area, and then everything's going to start lighting up in the rooms for your targets. So all the little fuse box switches that you hear right now, they're going to all be glowing. You can see some right there. There's some in this room. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. We're going to start this. Before I do, I want to explain something. So he's going to like come down and chase you as soon as you open this. And what you're going to do is you're going to run straight through here. So basically turn around run straight over here and then you're going to make a left you're not going to go straight you're going to make a left and you're going to continue to run around until he stops chasing you and um he will start slowing down and he'll start doing his patrol sequence at that point you're going to find all the fuse box switches once you have all the switches you're going to come up here and you're going to get the key and then you're going to unlock this door with the key so let's go and start that up i also still have my crucifix but i'm not going to really use it unless i have to so you can see there's already a fuse box item up there. So we're gonna hook a left. And then we're gonna make a right. And we're gonna keep going until he stops chasing me. Okay, he stopped chasing me. So he's gonna turn around, there he is. Let's grab that. We're gonna grab this one. See if there's any in here, there's not. That guiding light saves you so much time. There he is right there. He's going to turn around. So let's go in the middle area. Let's go in this room. You can see one right there in that corner. Okay, we need, looks like, seven more. So we'll wait for him to pass. Okay, he's passing me. So I'm going to go this way. There's a bunch of them in here. It's one, two, three. So I need four more. Okay, these are all of them, and then I need, I need to go and get the one on the stairs. Let him pass by. We're going to go up the middle area. See if he's going to pass by again. There he goes. He's going to pass by. And as soon as we pass this doorway, we can pretty much run. So we're not he's not going to chase us. So when we come through here, we can pretty much run. And then we're going to come up here, grab this switch. And then um, if you want to store your items, so if you have like a cross and you're not going to use the cross, you can come down here, by the way and you can store your item. He's not gonna bother you down here. I already have my flashlight in here, so I'm not gonna do that. But um, interacting with that will also give you a badge, so you can do that if you want to. Now what we need to do is go up here and grab the key from the shelf over here. You can see it's glowing, it's pretty much bright. So grab that, and we're gonna go back down. We're gonna go to the lock room, open that. And then go in here, activate the electric power. Um, it's gonna make him go a little crazy. And then we just have to complete this little mini game. There's no time limit on it. There's no penalty. You can get it wrong as much as you want. You're pretty much looking for the um, filled in like squares. So that means you need to power it on. So seven we need to power on and six we need to power on. So let's do that. Um, any others? Four. 
It's got a power on four. We got a power on five. And then it's going to go through a test sequence. And if you got it right, then it's going to go 100%. Oh, we need to get 10 done too. And that should be good. So it's going to test it again. And if I got it right, then it's going to check this one. There we go. We got it right. So that one's checked. Now we got to do two more of these. So now it's 10, 7, 3, 4, and 5 need to be powered on. 3, 4, and 5. All right, we got that one right too. Next one's gonna be a little harder because there's gonna be a question mark one. So it's five, four, and it goes faster too. Two, question mark. We don't know what it is. So we need to figure out which one it is. Six, oh, six. So let's look for a number that's missing here. It's gotta be one. Okay, one's on, cool. We got it right. All right, so we completed that. Now what we need to do is turn around because we don't want to stay in this room. Turn around, come through here, go back up. The stairs, make a right, go through the exit, and just make it inside the elevator, and game over. We beat it. And that is how easy it is. Man, I can't wait for the next floor. Really excited. So hopefully that's gonna help you beat figure. If this video does help you, please let me know in the comments. I love seeing them. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next vid. Peace.